Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Friday, April 14th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Fool. This could be a noun or a verb. Hmm. There's a lot of options here. Feline friend of Tom on Tom and Jerry. Hmm. I actually don't think I know this one. Side aside. Side aside? What does this even mean? Hmm. That one's kind of mysterious. Walk on water. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about Jesus walking on water. Hmm. What's a different kind of walk on water? Is it a pier or a dock? It might be something like that. The Y of the code JPY. Hmm. I wonder if that's talking about Japanese yen. I think that's a pretty good guess. Feline friend. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of help here. Blank part of a page. Hmm. Is this a page in a book? Is it just white space? I think that would make sense, yeah. Let me rephrase an equivalent phrase. Hmm. Let me rephrase. Well, with this W in here, I think this is probably going to be a twit. So, I wonder if it starts with I mean. Hmm. Side aside. I wonder if that's the very crosswordy on me. It could be. I guess this could be Tammy or maybe Tabby. Walk on water. I guess this could be a pier, right? What would this be? Hmm. This could be I mean. Fork tailed bird. That's probably going to be a turn. Hold one's hand. And this is wordplay, so it's not about a romantic gesture. I bet this is going to be about a poker hand. Yeah, this could be stand pat. Nice, that's a really clever one. So this is tapsy? Oh my god, I never would have guessed that in a million years. Okay. Pricey. Could that be steep? Supply at a nursery. This could be about a tree nursery, right? I wonder if it's pots. Yeah, to plant plants in. So maybe this is... I mean to say, yeah, okay. Name spelled by the first letters of consecutive calendar months. I know that one, that's Jason. That is July, August, September, October, November. Alternative to Skippy, that could be Jif. Okay. Rugby competitor. Is this Eaton? Like the school? Um... I mean, I'd imagine Eaton would compete in rugby. Is that what they're talking about? I don't know. Addict's Plaint. Um, it's got to be about wanting to have more, right? Maybe it's I can't stop? Yeah, that would make sense. It is Eaton. Either is fine, honestly. An equivalent phrase. Doesn't matter? Yeah, not closeted. That'll be out. Finish the dirty work. Is it mop up? Charge. This is tricky. This could be a noun or a verb also. Hmm. Maybe it's run at as a verb. Yeah. Its top score is 1520. Well, it's not the SAT or the PSAT. Maybe it's the LSAT or the MCAT. I bet it's one of those. Dungeons and Dragons, e.g. in brief. Well, that should be an RPG. Maybe this is the PSAT. Interesting. Let's try that. Blank economy. Is that the gig economy? That's what we're all living in now. Yeah. Grammy category won twice each by Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and Johnny Cash. Twice each. 
Well, it's got to start with music, right? I don't know how it's going to end. When things are going well on a good streak? That's way too long. Let's see if this is an O here. Took for a ride. I wonder if this is about getting one over on someone. This could be conned. Okay. Cop show co-starring LL Cool J informally. LL Cool J. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Little annoyance. Is it a gnat? One with crosswords. This is not talking about a crossword puzzle. It's got to be about someone who has angry words to say. Hmm. Maybe that's a grump? Yeah. Nice. Rep could be cred. Texted eyes, maybe. That could be a colon if you're sending an emoticon. American elm. That's a tree. Go for it, an equivalent phrase. Um, is it you do you? No, that doesn't fit. Hmm. Let's see if this is a Y here. Some branded coolers. Yeah, that could be Yetis. They make thermoses and things like that. Water line. That could be a main, like a main pipe that delivers water. Is this an O? What is this long down? Stereotypical millennial breakfast item. Well, as I'm a millennial, I know that that is avocado toast. Nice. Okay. I actually just had avocado toast this morning. I'm such a cliche. Abigail, who wrote Remember the Ladies to her husband in 1776. I've heard this quote before. That is Abigail Adams. Okay. Ta-da, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. What's an equivalent for that? I'm not sure. Is this going to be NCIS? It's got to be NCIS and then maybe a city abbreviation? Let's see. Fast food option for a reduced price. Is that a menu? Kind of bean. Hmm. What kind of bean could this be? And this is a U? Wait a minute, this should be a meal, not a menu. So maybe this is LA. Hmm, I can't think of a bean that would fit in here. On a good day, is that right? Goes on to say, yeah, that could be ads. Oh, is this a soya bean? Oh my God, I really should have known that one. So maybe this is music video, that makes sense. And this is did it. Nice. Okay. Ottomans EG. Okay, I guess this could be about the people, the Ottomans. It could also be about a piece of furniture. Hmm. What would the furniture be an example of? Like a footrest? You know, if it's talking about the people, it could be Turks. That would fit, too. Free alternative to Netflix. Um... Is that Voodoo? I'm pretty sure that's a streaming service. Heckle phone relative? What is a heckle phone? Uh, I wonder if it's a relative of an oboe. You know what? I think I have the wrong streaming service in here. I think this should be Tubi. Yeah, not Voodoo. I don't think Voodoo is free. Okay, perfectionists take great ones. Do they take great pains to be perfect? That's very funny. Is this, you do that? Oh my God, that's so dismissive. Lavatory informally. Is it the throne room? That's very funny. Tracks, so to speak, that makes sense, yeah. Blank time, it's time. And this is TMI, I've heard enough in brief. Yeah, that harkens back to our TMI puzzle from last week. Treads lightly. Hmm. Is it pads? I'm not sure about this one. They're awfully sorry. Hmm. Does it start with sad? It has to be plural. That's kind of interesting. 
old Jewish enclave. Oh my God, is this a shtetl? That is a very tricky bit of vocab. Blind piece. Is this the blind in Texas Hold'em? Blind. I'm not sure. People of Arizona, is that the Hopi? Suitable for most audiences. That's probably TVPG. Let's see if that's right. Go getter. That could be a tiger, yeah. Hmm. Key collaborator. I wonder if this is a hidden proper noun. Could this be about someone named Key? Oh my god, it could be. It's Key and Peel. I love that clue. That is so funny. Oh my god, that's great. Okay. Get off on criticizing, perhaps. Well, it's got to start with love. Is it love to hate? Yeah, I bet it is. Hmm, blind piece. Once trendy green cocktails. That's looking like it's gotta be apple teenies. So this is a slash. Oh my God, it's the blinds in your windows. They're awfully sorry. I guess that's a sad lot, right? They're sorry looking. Oh my God, that is very tricky. And this was pads after all. Give a card to, is that hit in blackjack? 13 times platinum Pearl Jam album that actually has 11 tracks. I know there's a Pearl Jam album called 10. Head locks. And this is wordplay, so this isn't about a wrestling move. I think this is going to be about locks of hair. You could have a mane of hair. Demonstration that's not going anywhere. Is that a sit-in? Yeah, that's a protest. That's pretty funny. Bro hugger, perhaps. That could be a sis. Main attractions? Maine. Are they talking about the state of Maine? It could be pines, maybe. There's a lot of pine trees in Maine. Snack item with green filling. That's got to be a mint Oreo. Medium talent? This is so funny. This is not about a mediocre talent. This is about a medium, someone with supernatural powers. Yeah, that would be ESP. Okay. Gave the finger another wordplay clue. So this is not about flipping someone the bird. Gave the finger. Is it point? It really should be pointed in the past tense. Gave the finger. Maybe it's poked. There we go. That's in the past tense. Foul call, that's a honk. We're certainly familiar with honking here. Water line, okay, so this is not a main this time. It's still a line that water travels through though, it's a hose. Huh, didn't expect to see you here. Another equivalent phrase. That's gotta be, oh hi. So this'll be I am'd, what's apt say? Yeah, that sounds right. All right, let's throw this I in there and see if that'll do it for us. Oh, gee whiz, we've got a square wrong. All right, let me see if I can track this down. Ooh, you know what? This could be oh me instead of ah me. And maybe this is topsy instead of tapsy. Oh God, what a brutal cross. Let's see if this is an O instead of an A here. All right, a Friday puzzle in 17 minutes. Yeah, this indeed was a bit of a brutal cross here. Thankfully, there's really only two plausible options in here, an O or an A. So hopefully if you put the wrong letter in here, you can find your mistake pretty quickly like we did. But let's talk about the rest of this puzzle. There's a lot to like here. There's a bunch of good long fill today. I feel like they're really pandering to us millennials with this cross of avocado toast and music video. We also got white space, love to hate, apple teenies, throne room is really funny. Yeah, there's a bunch of good ones here. There was also a lot of good misdirection in wordplay. I think my favorite wordplay clue of the puzzle was hold one's hand for Stan Pat. It's a very good poker pun.
And then this hidden proper noun, key collaborator for Jordan Peele. Yeah, that one really impressed me. That's very, very sneaky. I liked this clue too, Ottomans for Turks. That's very ambiguous. And this is a kind of funny play on the phrase main attractions. Yeah, you gotta make sure to notice this extra E here. They're talking about pines in the state of Maine. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Friday puzzle with me. I just can't stop, so I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.